Hey everyone! So today I was going to talk about trust. I've had a few conversations over the last couple of weeks with um, leaders who have found that they don't have a business, but equally leaders who still have a business and they still have a team, but now they have a team that's working remote. There are a lot of people working from home at the moment. And, um, and I've had some conversations with people who are really concerned about knowing what their team are up to, whether or not they're working, what are you working on? And, uh, and I guess this level of anxiety around productivity. And so for me, it comes down to trust, right? And I wanted to share with you a model that I've used in my own practice, which I find really useful. It's called the four pillars of trust. And this was taught to me by one of my first mentors. I don't know where he got it from, <laughs> but it's super, super useful. So when you're looking to build trust, it usually comes down to one of these four pillars, one of these four areas that you need to work on um, if you're working with an individual or a group of people to build trust. So if you're going from scratch, you need to build across all four and probably lift them up at, at a similar rate. Um, if you've got a tricky stakeholder, it may be that one of these areas out, is out of kilter. That's what you need to work on. So, four pillars of trust. First up, disclosure. Do I trust that you are telling me everything? That you're not holding something back from me? That you are fully disclosing? That you're being honest and transparent and fully speaking to me. You're not holding anything back. You're not hiding anything from me. That's pillar number one. Pillar number two, competency. Do I believe that you've actually got the goods? And I will judge your competency based on your ability to solve the problem that I see. I will not judge your competency based on what you think is important. I will judge your competency based on whether or not you can solve my problem. The problem that I see not the problems that you see. Third, consistency, reliability. If you say you're going to do something, do you actually do it? Can I rely on you to do what you say, to deliver the promise, to follow through? That's pillar number three. Pillar number four is character. Do I actually just think you're a cool person? Do we get along? Yes or no. It's the, you know, so one of those ones where it's like, I know it when I see it. So those are the four. First up, disclosure. Are you, are you telling me everything or are you holding back? Second, competency. Can you actually do it? And can you solve the things that I see? Not necessarily demonstrate competency in a way that you think about. Third, consistency. Do you show up? Do you do it? Are you reliable? Fourth, character. Now funnily enough when I'm working with people often character is the one that presents. People are like, oh I just don't like this person. They're just really hard to work with. They're really oppositional or you know they're a stick in the mud or it's this character thing. But actually when you get down to it, oftentimes I find it's something else. It's either that disclosure piece or it's that consistency piece or it's competency. And I'll tell you a brief story about competency. So I do a lot of work with IT teams and um, I was working with one client out in Singapore actually and we had an IT team that were in the midst of um, a, a pretty big transformation actually. I don't, I don't know if they quite realized what was going on, but you had a business that was shifting from an outsourced IT shop model to actually we're going to bring some development in-house. And IT had fought really, really hard to do this because they were passionate about it and they knew they could do the job and they were like, yeah, we can deliver this thing. And so they'd fought hard and they'd won at the executive level and they'd been asked to do this piece of work and for them to do it, not to buy somebody else in to do it for them. And so we were sitting there and I remember one of the early conversations and 
the team were talking about whether they were going to use this cloud platform or that cloud platform. And there's this massive conversation going on about technology and about whether and which piece to use and, you know, Google uses this. And I sat them down and I said, come on, guys, because they, they were actually all male. What's going on here is that you think competency is about whether or not you're using the cool, funky, shiny tech that all of the other cool, funky tech companies are using. Because you're a tech and you judge competency based on whether or not you're using all the cool stuff that other cool, funky techs are using. Business doesn't care about that. Business only cares if you solve their problem. They couldn't care less which technology platform you use. And so if you spend all your time worrying about that, rather than whether or not you can solve that problem, they're still going to think IT sucks and isn't capable of delivering, and they're going to go back to that model of outsourcing to somebody who actually knows what they're doing. So competency for me is, it, it can be a real trap. And, um, and, and that's a good one to dive into. So once again, the four pillars of trust are, first, disclosure. Do I believe that you're fully disclosing to me everything and you're not holding back, you're not hiding something from me, perceived or otherwise? Two, competency. Based on the problems that I see, not the problems that you see and that you think you need to solve for me. Third, consistency, reliability. If you say you're going to do it, do you actually do it? And fourth, character. You're just a nice person. So have fun with those. It's super windy in Glenorchy here today. I'm going to finish my walk, but I hope wherever you are in the world at the moment, you are having a wonderful day and let's go out there and smash it.